I, I, I just got splashed. Oh, if, if my camera gets, oh. I'm filming on my iPhone and that's where I've got stored where I'm going. Camera's a bit too heavy to have sat there up on a, when I accelerate, I mean the G in my Prius here, it just throws it all back. <laughs> The only thing is, though, I don't know what I'm doing taking us to Bournemouth Seafront today, or the place near Bournemouth Seafront, because it's so windy. Oh, and I bought my hat. Ooh. I don't often wear hats, but hats can often make your face look more symmetrical, which apparently makes you more good looking, and I need all the help I can get, so this hair does not do wind. I mean, I look a bit like a scarecrow as it is, but it's an adventure. Come with me. I'm, I'm revving. I don't know if you can hear that. Me and the Prius. Ooh, fill the G. <laughs> the wind nearly blew me off the road then. I'm doing 67 miles per hour. How very good of me. I'm such a good boy. I don't break speed limits. Maybe sometimes I go 71 miles per hour. No, I don't really. I didn't say that. I, 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 I didn't say that. Oh. Oh, I just went through a pothole. Did you feel that? I felt it right down in my crevices. I am now stopped at the services, so I'm going to steal my mobile phone away from you. Well, one, I can tell you where I'm going, and two, I can plug in my sat-nav so I know where I'm going. Oh, 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 shag a duck. Just coming into High Cliff now, and it's a beautiful sunny day. Oh! Oh, look at the sea! I'm gonna stop. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? You know that moment you first arrive to the seaside and you can't see the sea from where you are in the car, and then suddenly it appears? That's my moment. <laughs> I'm here. Over there to the west is Bournemouth and this is Highcliffe. And this is my first time at Highcliffe and I've got to say I'm quite taken with the place. It's... I'm amazed at how those cliffs behind me, you know there's a real rusticness to them. And it's been, it's been months since I've been to the edge of the sea, so I'm now off on one of these little wanders down these paths. Oh, it's just happened again. Someone's walked past me, and this time it wasn't a lovely womp of perfume, it was a lovely womp of aftershave. Oh, it was lovely. Could you see him skiing? There's someone, sur not, sur did I say skiing? I meant to say surfing. And I'm here in four layers and someone's in that sea where it's freezing, surfing. Well, I'm delighted to say, as you can see in the background, he's got out. So I, I get quite worried, you know, when I see people swimming in the sea on a day like this, because I know if it was me, I would just, I, 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 I would just die. He's out 
skiing, surfing. Why do I keep calling surfing skiing? It's because I'm thick. But he's out surfing again. I kind of want to stand at the end of that pole though, do what they do in Titanic where it's going Jack Roo! This is the bit I love where you can just sit down and contemplate and watch the waves with the sun just kissing your skin. I, I, I just got splashed! Oh, if, if my camera gets caught. This is a place I would certainly come back to. I like the fact it combines rusticness with the convenience of, you know, proper safe paths and paving. I like the fact you've got a cafe and toilets. And that's the thing, you know me. I don't like to be too far away from loos. That's why I like modern conveniences. I don't want to have to go and pee in a bush. This is a place I will definitely come back to. of them down there surfer dudes i thought one was bad enough now there's three for me to worry about i'm going to say a little prayer for them dear angels please keep the surfers safe because i don't want to jump in and save them <laughs>